The other day I mentioned about themes in Bootstrap Studio and um, I found one way of doing this. And this is uh, a site called Start Bootstrap and it's actually got a lot of the themes in that has um, from Bootstrap Studio, most of just getting them because they're free, uh, a lot of them. Some aren't, some are. But this is a one, just a resume one, and it's somebody, Clarence Taylor, of course, it's just a, a theme, just an example. So when you download it, which I ha already have done, this is what you get, just exactly, basically what you see on the, the site itself. So, so to, to put it in, uh, this is just the uh, the index CSS, GS, exact, you know, the all the stuff that goes with this one. And there's, and there's other websites and themes on that, on that particular site with a lot more pages, but this is the same principle. One way of doing it, you kind of do it in here that I've found, um, which is the new design page. But if we just do the, just a, a blank template and um, how we can go from here is just pop this index page in here, pop it in the, there. And the same with the uh, the other ones as well, the CSS and JS. So uh, put the script in, down on there. And for the CSS, we do exactly the same thing. And it's just put it into the CSS folder. I'm not sure if that's actually gone in. I think so. Right, so with the assets um, and its images, and there's just two images, just a profile and a favicon, and exactly the same way there. So we have, um, just give me a second. We have now all these uh, files and it's index uh, dash one HTML. And this is what happens in Bootstrap Studio. The favicon isn't showing up, but you get the idea. And what you can do is you can publish. If we go to publishing your website and manage websites and all the rest of it and to add this website and go here and create put never for the delete after create this close and when we go to this one here now what we have there is we just have to do a preview And open in browser, and there you are. So where the design is, where the arrow is, and just pop all your stuff into there, and then you'll uh, you'll find your own way with that. And that's the probably the best uh, the best example I can really give on this one. And it's got it's got me really stuck. I think there should be a better way than this, but it it does get you whatever you want. So. You know, use that and, and just pop it into your, your cloud storage that Bootstrap Studio will allow. So, once again, thanks for watching.